Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video review. This is Marcus. In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of the brand new Barnes & Noble Nook Color. This is the very newest e-reader that Barnes & Noble put out. It's their first color e-reader, and it's one of the first color e-readers to be put out by a large company such as Barnes & Noble, as you may know if you live in the United States that Barnes & Noble is the nation's largest book store. And in Canada and the US, they don't have much of a presence, but their e-readers are definitely one of the best. Just to give you guys a little bit of specs before we open this up, it's seven inches, resolutions 1024 by 600. It runs Google Android 2.0. It roughly has about eight gigabits of internal memory. It does Wi-Fi. You can web browse, check out your email, listen to Pandora watch videos, listen to audio, look at pictures, and most importantly, look at ebooks. We will get into reviewing the whole thing spec by spec in an upcoming video. In today's video, we're merely just gonna unbox it. Now, for video review's sake, we've just taken off of the plastic off of the case, just so we can open this up for the first time, and we're pretty excited to check out what exactly is in the box. So it looks like here, we have the e-reader, and we will take the plastic off of that in a second, Let's just see what else the box has inside of it. You have your Welcome to Nook Color Quick Start Guide step-by-step step shows you the power button talks about the vivid view color touchscreen which incidentally the vivid view color touchscreen is supposed to reduce the glare in the Sun so unlike a lot of other LCD screens that get a lot of glare this is not supposed to get very much so we have that right there and let's see what else looks like there's nothing left inside of there So we gather from this little box here, probably has the USB cables. Okay, so it looks like here you have your wall adapter and it has a USB input in here so looks like there's probably a USB cable in here okay so you have your standard mini USB to full USB so if you wanted to hook your nook up to the computer this end would go into your computer and this end would go into your nook and if you wanted to do wall charging, simply plug the USB end in here. And then the other end into the bottom of your Nook. So let's put this down and take a look at the Nook and power it up for the first time. So we're just going to take this all off. And here we go. Looks like a really nice slick black device. It's like a bit of a weird grip here on the side. On the back here, looks like this is where the speaker is. I was talking about the USB earlier. So as you can see here, this is where the mini USB would be plugged into your, this is what you would plug it into. So I'll just demonstrate that really quick. The mini USB, if you wanted to load ebooks, load videos, music, pictures from your computer, you want to plug this end into here.
doesn't seem to want to to want to get in there. Okay, there we go. So obviously new device takes a little bit to get into it. So yeah, if you wanted to manage this device from your computer, this is in here, the other end is in your computer. So let's turn this on. I gather you turn it on by just hitting uh, the little upside down U here. So you can see here there's a headphone jack at the top. It looks like uh, this is uh, the power right here. So it wasn't uh, the U that I pressed. This was the power button. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, it said uh, touch the power of e-reading. Okay, no color by Barnes and Noble. Looks like it wants to play some set up video tutorials, which this would be really good because we know a lot of the people who are buying e-readers now have never had one before. So this is definitely good for new users to be able to have video tutorials go up as soon as you hit the device. So we're just going to skip this for now so we can just take a look at what's going on. You have here the terms and conditions. Sure, we agree. Select a time zone. We'll hit Pacific. Guess it's uh, looking for internet connections right now, so I will just hit an open network right now. See if that works. Okay. So, it looks like one of the nice things about this, I'll try to get it so you can see. Unlike a lot of other e-readers, it actually tells you what it's secured with, whether it's WEP, WPA, PSK, and so on. So this is really good because a lot of people who maybe have routers, modems, and so on, maybe don't know what type of security that they have. And we know some of the newer e-readers, sometimes they have problems reading Wi-Fi networks of older security. So we'll just uh, press OK. And you can see it's registering the device. And, you know, we sign in and create a new account. Now we're not going to do that right now, but you can see that if we wanted to, we can just touch on the bottom keyboard here and we can create an account. So stay tuned for our next video and by then we would have registered an account and we will continue with our expose good e-reader style with the Barnes and Noble Nook color. You can see further videos on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash good e-reader or you can see the rest of the videos on our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog. For good e-reader, this is Marcus and everybody take it easy.